So, so time is, is, it's a famous saying, time is relative, but it genuinely is moving clocks run slow. That allowed you to get into the future. So you allowed to time travel into the future by moving fast relative to somebody else. You get into their future. But as I mentioned before, the doors to the past, as far as Einstein's theory is concerned, are absolutely closed. And I think most physicists think that whatever theory replaces Einstein's theory, remember I said that we needed a new one to describe what happens in a black hole, for example. I think most physicists suspect whatever replaces it will, will respect that idea that time travel into the past is impossible because it just doesn't seem to be a way to build a universe, to be able to have all those paradoxes that can occur. But travel into the future, you can do that. And I suggest actually, if, you, if, you're, um, if, you're, if you've done enough maths to do Pythagoras, you can go, there's plenty of books around actually that will explain how it is that moving clocks run slow in Einstein's theory. You only need Pythagoras to do that.